Alright, so you've got to keep making sure that the hip slants keep going deeper and longer with the turning and extending all the way to the top. Okay, That way you don't stop the turning and then the accumulators keep loading and overload, giving you less time in the downswing to unload them. So from down the line view, so you're going to keep getting the turning in your hips, torso all the way to the top. That gives you more time and space for the butt of the club to keep travelling back up and in. So the butt of the club starts going through the mid bicep to get to the top. Accumulators aren't overloaded. Now you can start transferring them forward. Start transferring the COGs forward and adding some load. In the down the line view, that's going to keep you in your hips arm and your shoulder tilts longer. And start getting the butt end of the club further forward to here. Make sure that when you're doing this, um, that the left shoulder from four doesn't start pulling away from the wall. You want to feel like it can go down the wall uh, and, f and forwards towards the target. So when you're at four, you feel like it transfers forwards towards the target, but it's not going to pull away from the wall. It's going to go forwards and down, increase the leverage, and just make sure that as you're doing these pieces, it feels surgio, so it's wide, and increase the V in the downswing. Front of the club gets further forward, and now you get the out from the down, instead of from the early extension, uncocking the club, the club gets under, and you can either start lowering the handle, and you get like little deflected cuts, toe hits. Also be careful, it's set up that your face doesn't get too, too open, so you get a ball that pushes and it's not enough for the out, uh, and that your shoulders don't get a little open. So just do the hip slants, stretch it out to the top, increase the leverage in the downswing. You know, when I increase the leverage, it's not by just, just uh, narrowing the right arm. It's yeah, so you're, so you're not just going to start increasing the right arm. It actually starts to lower all the way down. So the V is going to be from the shaft and the right arm. So that's how, so that's how four comes down across the torso. And the shoulders can stay steep enough. We went to the downside. Have fun.